Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and um, I just wanted to finish up uh, from my previous tutorial about live sampling and how to edit your sample and how to play around with it. Um, I just wanted to finish up and, and touch base on just a few short issues. It shouldn't take too long. Um, the first thing I wanted to show you is that um, even though you delete your devices, like let's just say we'll have, um, right now I don't have any devices in here, um, and I have a the tool window open. If you go into the sample editor, your samples still remain. So even if you delete the devices where you made the samples from, you're not going to lose your samples. They're still here. Okay. You can set it on autoplay, in which case you're going to hear the samples as they play. Or you can turn autoplay off, and then you can select them, and you won't hear the sample playing. Usually, you're going to want to have autoplay on. That's usually the preferred method here. You've also got um, the quick uh, speaker system, which you can play your sample in. Okay, you got the edit feature, which obviously when you open it up, that will open up your edit window. Okay, you've got the duplicate feature, which I really like because for this sample, for 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 example, it's one note that's played um, three times, and then I change the key, and it's played three more times. So what you could do in this situation is you could duplicate it. Okay, you can go in and edit it, and then you can just select uh, snap sample to transients. Uh, you could take your start go over here, take your end, go over there, um, then you can crop it, or nope, you don't want to do that, so let's undo that. You want to set the start sample and end, that's not what you want to do. Okay, so you got it over here. Okay, so we'll move our start marker over here. Okay, so now we've got the start and end. If you click the crop, right, okay, that's going to give you this sample. So now you can save this. Okay, that's one sample. And then you can open this up. You can select the start and end over here and then crop that and then save that. So right away, you've got two samples. Okay, and you should be able to, yes, you can rename it here. So you can call this uh, sample 1-1, there you go. Okay, so I've got those two samples. Now, that's a very basic idea, but that's how you can use the duplicate feature. So you can create one long sample of different sounds, chop it up into little bits by you con by continually duplicating the sample and then cutting it to your heart's content. Um, the other nice thing about the samples is the, um, obviously, delete will remove the sample, but this feature right here, export, is one of my favorite features of all times because it's so simplistic and it's so useful. You can export any sample as a WAV file, which is great if you're trying to send it to other people. Uh, you just want to send them the file quickly. Um, it's also just nice that you can actually get your samples out of the song itself, and that's how you do it. That export feature cannot be. Um, I cannot stress it enough how good that is. And of course, you can sample something again if you want to by clicking the live sample button here. So that's how the tool window works in a nutshell. And um, if you do want to use it, you can go in, you can create any device that uh, will use um, a sample. So any of the sampler devices, such as the NNXT, the NN19, um, the ReDrum, or the Kong Drum Designer. So if you're in a Kong, We'll just load one up. Nano sampler. If you double click in that space, you're going to go in and you're going to see the song samples area over here. That's where you gain access to all your samples. So you can load that in. Okay. Um, you can add the layer and you can load in your other sample. Okay. And uh, you'll hear them both at once now. And if you want to layer them, you just click the Alt for both of them. And 
that's how you alternate them. So that's how you manage your samples. Um, and I just wanted to give you that quick short tutorial just to show you a little bit more about the, um, the tools window. Um, of course, you can get access to the tools window by hitting F8 on your keyboard, and that'll open up your tools window to the, um, to the, the sampling tab here, the song samples tab. Uh, and all your samples will be listed here. The other way you can get to it is you can right click and click on manage samples. Um, this will only be available if you actually have a sample loaded in though um, because if you delete them okay well I didn't want to delete Kong but if you um, let's see okay if you delete the samples Okay, well, if you initialize the patch and then you go into the nano sampler, you won't have access to that manage samples area. However, if you have the samples loaded, you do have access to it right here. And if you click on it, it'll automatically open up your tools window directly to the song samples tab. So that's the song samples tab under the tools window and a short tutorial about it. Again, come visit me at reason101.net. My name's Rob, and thanks a lot for watching.